Today I'm reviewing the second set in the Chanel Takeaways collection. This one is the City Break set, and this set really surprised me. It is a very fierce set. Keep on watching and I'll show you exactly why. Back to my channel as promised today i am reviewing the second set in the chanel makeup takeaway collection now this particular set i was not going to purchase at first this is why i created the poll on my social media accounts and because of you i went ahead and also purchased this because most of you really wanted to see a review on this set and i can understand why this set kind of has makeup products that you won't necessarily feel the tendency to purchase yourself they have some bold shades as you can see the makeup that I applied today is everything that's in this set it's not an everyday type of makeup look I feel like this is perfect for a nighttime makeup for those of you that love that fierce type of makeup look fierce lip fierce eyes green makeup then you might like this but I don't see a lot of us kind of steering towards this set. This one retails for 190 US dollars. And again, this is the City Break set. It comes in a nice green type of a bag looking box, similar to the other set. And when you open it, we also have four makeup products and a unique limited edition pouch. We should go through all of the products first. We're gonna go through the prices and then we're going to see if the price is worth it for this particular set. All right, so the first one is the pouch. And again, this is limited edition. You can only receive this pouch with this set. Out of the two, I think this is the most unique pouch. I just didn't think that it would be this small. When I saw this advertised, I just honestly thought that this bag would be a little bit bigger. This comes in a metallic green shade, and I do think that it is very fashion forward. It is a stunning little pouch, very small. I wish it was a little bit bigger. And quality wise, I just felt that the other pouch had better quality it was more sturdy now i can understand they probably didn't create it so sturdy because this kind of bends like so the pouches in both sets are so cute and this one is the most unique i think out of both it just looks like a little shopping bag and i love the fact that it kind of twists and you close it like so so i do wish this was just a little bit bigger but nonetheless i think it is really cute it's functional and personally I am not going to use this I am just going to display this in my dresser I think it is very unique and very fashion forward let's have a look at the products in here so this one also comes with four makeup products one of which is the ombre premiere lac this is a liquid eyeshadow we have a Chanel nail polish and two of the Rouge ultra to and if you watch my videos you know that these are my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks the formula is great one once they're applied they do not budge now price wise I did calculate each and every one of these individually yeah. liquid eyeshadow is $38 the nail polish is 32 and each one of the Rouge ultra to new is $48 each so in total the makeup products in the set equal to $166 so that would leave the pouch and the actual box itself because I guess they are making us pay for this $24. So unlike the other set, this pouch is a little bit more sturdier. I feel personally I would prefer this pouch. That one was for $16 in that pouch. Now let's have a look at the products themselves. So first I am going to show you the liquid eyeshadow. Now this one is in shade 833 Grasshopper. Just a swatch of this lac. This is a really nice formula. It is difficult to work with though. You have to work very quickly because once it dries down, it will not move. And as you can see, the color is really beautiful. It is a metallic green. It's a light green. I think it is pretty. And if applied on a certain way, you can really manage to create a beautiful look. You could use this eyeshadow on its own, apply all over your lid, pat it in and let it dry. But I felt like I wanted to do something a little bit different. Combine both the Clet de Nouette palette from earlier this year, as well as the liquid eyeshadow. I 
felt that a smoky look with a little bit of green would look really beautiful and I was right so I started off with a liquid liner I was a little bit bold with my liquid liner today just because I felt like with a smoky look a bold liquid liner would look really stunning and then I went ahead and went into this brown shade out of the palette use this in my crease and then went in with the black now with the black I used a flat brush and I patted that to the outer corner and blended it with a fluffy brush just to create that smoky type of look here's the tricky part I did use the liquid eyeshadow right in the inner corner only so what I did is I went ahead and took the applicator on the back of my hand and then I used my finger to tap that eyeshadow to my inner corner use it very quickly so I would tap on some eyeshadow use a different finger and blend it in very well and I think it created such a pretty look very unique and it looks really good with a smoky look I topped off the look with this shimmer shade in the Eclat de Wet palette this has a little bit of a green tinge to it so I picked this up with my finger applied it just to the middle of my eyelid and then with a brush I went ahead and applied the shade in my inner corner and right down below just ever so slightly this entire look I felt came out so well I was quite impressed with it and then with some mascara oh it created such a nice bold type of look perfect for an evening out next we have the nail polish now this one is in shade 832 flesh and it is in an orange shade so I am kind of confused by the choice of shades in the set unlike the previous set where it created more of a monochromatic type of look all of the shades really matched and made sense with this particular set they don't next we have the Le Rouge duo to new now I do love this formula Again, this is my favorite liquid lipstick, but these shades make absolutely no sense with this set. Now, there are two shades in here, 835 Erotica and 834 Defendu. The red shade in here is stunning. It is so pretty. And I think that if they created a nail polish with this set that was similar to this lipstick color, I think that would have looked better. They kind of do match when you look at the tube itself, but when applied on the lips, this is a very bright red. It's so pretty. And if I am going to apply a red, I will always use this particular formula because once it's on your lips, it will not budge. The second shade in the set is 834 Defendu this shade i personally would never purchase for myself i don't see myself wearing a chocolate brown like this i don't normally steer towards these shades i know for some individuals this particular color will look stunning just depending on your skin tone but for me i don't feel like this particular color works so again with this set i feel like the liquid eyeshadow as well as this particular lipstick color were a no for me so these shades are the reason why i didn't want this set to begin with now with the liquid eyeshadow i made it work and i think that i will continue to do this type of look because i do think it's gorgeous but with this lipstick shade i tried to apply this on its own and it did not work it looked pretty awful on me so i don't see myself wearing this on its own now both of these together though looks really good I generally do mix makeup products and these two just look like they would mix beautifully together so for my lip today i applied this red lipstick all over my lips and then in the middle i applied a little bit of this chocolate brown and just patted it in right in the middle and it created such a gorgeous vampy type of lip color it really looks stunning both of these look so good together and if i am going to mix any liquid lipstick then it would have to be in this formula because once you apply these you don't really have to mess with it and usually mixing two lipstick shades especially when you're creating this type of ombre type of effect you don't really want to reapply it you don't have time to reapply it because it does take some time for you to get the perfect 
type of lip ombre color and this is perfect you apply it on and then you're good to go you don't have to mess with it anymore and then you apply the liquid lipstick the clear lipstick on the other side and that just makes this lipstick so comfortable to wear all day those of you that are interested in this set and aren't too fond of this particular lipstick I think you can make it work by using a lighter brown shade so the way I would use this on its own is to apply this on the outer corner and then in the middle apply a lighter brown shade kind of mix them together create that ombre type of look I think both of these together will also look really nice this one is also in the rouge ultra to new and this is in shade timeless beige you can use an even just a slightly darker brown as well if you like but if you want to make this liquid lipstick work then i would combine it with a different lip color for sure for those of you that are new to the chanel le rouge duo ultra tenues when you first apply the color side you will notice that the lipstick is quite tacky and that's completely normal you will have to allow this lipstick to dry down for about a minute or so and the tackiness will go away and then you follow up with the clear lipstick on the other side and this is what will make this liquid lipstick apply on perfectly and last all day. It also will make the liquid lipstick more comfortable to wear throughout the day. So that's the full City Break collection. What are your thoughts? Leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts about this particular set. I think that out of both sets, this one is the most unique. It's the shades that you don't particularly purchase on your own but you would use as part of the set. So I would have never purchased this if it wasn't for reviews and for my YouTube channel. But the fact that I purchased it, it took me out of my comfort zone. I would not have thought of creating this type of look unless it was for this particular set. But I have these products now and I know exactly what I would do uh, to utilize these products. Now, as for the pouch, I think most of us will most likely want these sets because of the pouches. I wish this was more sturdy. I do love the way it looks. I like the general idea of it. As I did with the other set, I'm going to go ahead and see if this pouch is functional. So we're going to apply all of the products that came with this set in here. So there's the nail polish and then we're going to put both of the lipstick shades and the eyeshadow. Yeah you have plenty of room in here. You can actually apply so much more in here. So functionality wise, this might be even more functional than the previous set. But personally, I feel like this is a collector's pouch and I probably will not use this per se. I'm going to display this. So here's both pouches side by side. I think that Chanel did such a great job with both of these pouches. Both sets are so cute. I feel like for those of you that like more of a natural type of look, want makeup that you're going to use on a daily basis, then I would go with this set. But if you want something unique, you wanna try something different, then go with the green set but both of them are definitely very cute, very worth it. And if I was going to choose one though, I would definitely go with the orange set instead of the green, just because of the fact that I will most likely be using the products in this set more often than I would with the green set. So there's both sets. I hope you guys enjoyed watching both of these videos and I hope it made it easier for you to make your selection if you are interested in any of these sets. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos and also be sure to follow me on Instagram where all new things go there first. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.